We're gonna hack that. Not that it's really useful, but... We'll hack it just for the hell of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure this puzzle out. I'm gonna cut across middle. Do it like that. Didn't mean to press my button again there, but I did. Me wife, Moira. She's a right pain in the neck. But she's a beauty. And she means the world to me. If I can't help feel God's punishing me for bringing her and Patrick to this place. I thought this would be a better life for us. Can you imagine a bigger fool than that? Quick note, that's what happens when you destroy a health station. It drops a couple uh, health kits for you. Anything here I need? Nope. That's good, the shit out of me. Of course I missed. I'm gonna play it safe. Yeah, that scream scared the shit out of me, I'm not even gonna lie. can hear in front of me. You gotta be careful about the fight here. It can go pretty bad for you. I'm gonna research uh, this big daddy. You can research more than one of the big daddies within like a life. It's just you gotta make sure it's different big daddies. That's the only catch of that. Yeah, she, that chick that was yelling at me, she's above me. So we're just gonna ignore her. If I hack this, I'll... No, I didn't hack it. I'm leaving it then. I don't need help that bad. I'm pretty sure we have been... Can I not zoom in and out? No, I cannot. We'll check the map real quick. Yeah. There's only one other place. So we got extra nutrition three. I don't even have extra nutrition one or two on. We will be using them in the future, just when I get more uh, uh, slots. This is that boss, by the way. For some reason, she's extremely tough. There she is. Don't ask me why she's tough, I have no clue why. It's never actually introduced to you that she's a specific, like, certain person or better spider splicer or anything like that. She's just the first one you encounter, so she's for some reason tougher. And I can't believe I missed that. Aw, oh, she's running back to that fucking health station too. I knew I should have hacked that fucking thing. You bitch. Oh, now I'm kind of upset. That could have been the end of the fight. Instead, I'm gonna have to waste like a shit ton more ammo on this stupid fight. I think the big daddy is extremely close. Oh, fuck off. Okay, fuck that shit. That's so bullshit. Literally, she's just draining me of my fucking ammo now. And I'm gonna need it very soon, so... I'm gonna have to hack this. 
I need two more pieces. Don't be stingy. There we go. And if she wants to fight me, she can come get me. So she ran, she left wrench uh, lurker here, which basically what it does is if you have your wrench out, you uh, your footsteps are quiet, yeah, quiet, and you do increased damage on opponents when you melee when you're uh, when they're not aware that you're there. It's a pretty handy uh, perk to have. She's rushing me now. All the electricity is kind of lagging my game a little bit, but that's fine. Yeah, this fight is just going horrible. Like, it's bad enough she already healed twice. Yeah, bitch. How do you like that? gonna die this time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you do it. So you can learn. Yeah. Fish go down easy once you research them up right. Come on in and show us those snappy snappies. So um I might just keep my atom for now. I don't really have a need for another plasma slot. Enrage I never really use. I don't use Sonic Boom. I have tried it out. It's a DLC. They added this uh, Sonic Boom and Machine Buster in after the game. Uh, after the game launched. But it's not that useful. Target Dummy would be useful for when fighting big daddies. But Winter Blast is kind of cool. I would use that one more. But again I just. I don't know. I don't use it that much. I don't use plasmids that often to be completely honest with you guys. Actually, I'm gonna hold off on doing that first just for the fact of uh, I still have something to show you guys. So we came down here in part five, but I couldn't get through. No, part six, sorry. But I couldn't get through. So now we have the ability to get through. Um, I'm just gonna have to find out the code again though. It's in another um, audio t diary. And that's not the right one. Where was the one about Marsha? Uh, Marsha, come home. This one right here. Picked up Timmy H. 5380. You can also hack these too, by the way. Most of them. Certain ones you need the, uh, the thing for, but not all of them. struggle between uh, Ryan and Fontaine was feuding heavily and uh, I guess a lot of people feared Fontaine which made Ryan fear Fontaine just that much more because all these people were fearing him so and they're fearing him more than they were Ryan at this point so Now this next fight is extremely hard so I highly recommend loading up on as much health kits you can, as many Eve uh, Eve hypos as you can and yeah, uh, without spoiling anything I don't recommend loading, wasting all your money on trying to buy uh, weapons, we'll see why in a second. The warp rat didn't get himself that. You got something from me and my crew? Or are you just looking to get criticized? 
You set here a spell. I needs to set on some coffee. Maybe puts on silverware and the like. <laughs> Before you head into the fisheries, a word to the wise. All PG seems about as straight as a dog's hind leg. You keep your eyes open. If that's his price, you're gonna have to pay it. But he can't very well take your plasmas away now, can he? For some reason, it skipped over the dialogue, but he tells us to put away our weapons into that thing right there before before we go because he doesn't doesn't want us to have weapons. Um, so I'm gonna take off the physical damage one for wrench jockey. I think there was wrench jockey too. Let me go back and find out. And I can't anymore. Great. So we'll do that without wrench jockey too. That's fine. Focused hacker. Two fewer overload overload tiles. We don't want those. So. Um, we are gonna save, of course, because like I said, this is probably one of the hardest fights in the game. Even the last, like, the final boss fight isn't as hard as this one. And, um, this area you want to melt down all this ice. Got auto hack tool here for a aid kit. Um. I don't think there's anything under that one. No. Just the two areas, really, but still. I'm gonna go back and get that other Eve Hypo real quick. Obviously all I have is this. And my plasmids like told. Uh, we're gonna save closer so I don't have to do that run and all that shit. Because I, I can almost guarantee you something's gonna happen to me here. We're gonna hack uh, as much as we can here. By the way, it does cap out on you for the... Um, Max auto hacks, by the way, so we'll be wary of that. I believe, if I remember correctly, the max auto hacks is five that you can have at any given time. So it's pretty important to try to hack as many uh, security features you can here. I like the cameras, the um, like I said, the cameras, the uh. Um, I don't even remember what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you want to make sure you hack all the security details in this area. So, um, cameras, turrets, all that fun stuff. I'm going to hack that just so I can have it. There's also a health station. I want to hack... I press the wrong button. I also want to hack this because you can see how OP these health stations are when enemies get a hold of them if you do not hack them. So, you're going to hack it. I need left to right. One, two more. No, one more. Atlas! He was ours! Ours! And he's a nitro splicer, by the way, which is just wonderful. Um. Getting the, uh. Cross Blast, I believe it was called, is extremely helpful in this one because you can actually freeze what's his face. You can freeze uh, Peach Wilkins. And it makes this fight a little bit easier. Unfortunately, it doesn't have. I don't know. It depends how much you use it. I don't use it that much, so I'm just going to do this fight without. Um, without it, like I said. We just threw a grenade up here. Nice. 
that's him dead. And I didn't fuck around this area. I wasn't going to um. Um, like I said, I didn't fuck around this area. I wasn't going to. Um, fuck. What is it called? I wasn't gonna research that camera and turret. Although it would have been a great idea. I just didn't really have the time. So. So yeah, that fight looked extremely easy considering I just ran through him. But don't don't take it light. That's all I'm gonna say to warn you guys. Now also. This is why you want to have incinerate for this area because you can open. Whoops. You can open the doors. Me monster. Yeah, I'm a horrible shot with this pistol, by the way. In case you didn't know. We're gonna use up that hypo there. Well, we're gonna take it, sorry, not use it up, but. The crates are worth checking out, but you normally don't pull anything too, too good from them, so I wouldn't stress over them. Now, um, because there's usually things hidden in ice and stuff, I highly recommend, you know, going through as much as possible. Uh, I've played through it, so I kinda remember where most things are, but. Yeah. Didn't mean to take those from him, but oh well. Uh, yeah. See, we're not really getting a whole lot out of these crates, but sorry, we're not getting anything out of these crates, but. Still worth checking. I think that's another auto hack tool, and I think we're up to. I think that's our fifth one right there, so. Crap ton of money if you ever needed or wanted it. There's a way to pick up things too without mo like doing it. I just can't remember how to actually do it. Pretty sure you can in this game. We'll take another look at the other side of that door real quick and then, yeah. For some reason, I think there's something on the other side of that door. Where was the Eve hypo that I found? I don't know. There's one right there on his corpse, and I press the wrong button. Oh, reload, sir. Now that that's established. And we do get our guns back just down here, by the way. Now that we have all our guns back. hear people like right above me I'm pretty sure um anyways we're coming up on our first pirate of the people station it's a weapon upgrade station there is one there's two for every gun in the game so there's what one two three four five so there's ten um ten upgrade stations all throughout the game we're gonna try to get all of them now we're gonna want to do our shotgun first. We'll do the rate of fire. It's extremely helpful. And we're gonna gain access to this. Because I think this is where those guys are. That I can hear. Yep. Ah, oh, fuck. So, and that's why you want the rate of fire for this shotgun. It makes it like the best weapon in the game as soon as you get the rate of fire. Not even shitting you about that. There we go, we got 35% chance that his grenades will be a dud. 
like that one. They sent you, didn't they? Fuck you. We just we we just tear through people now with this shotgun. Um. Anything there? No. Just gonna auto hack it. Yeah, we have five now. And like I said, I think that's the max. So. Montaigne's putting the screws on us and double. He's squeezing us out of eighty points of our cut with the threat of turning us into Ryan if we don't play ball. Son of a bitch. Sammy G comes and tells me he's thinking of going to the constable. And the next day, Sammy G was found in a sack in a salt pond. We had no choice here. We stay on Fontaine's crew and we're gonna catch the gallows. We dig powder and we end up like Sammy G. Oh, there's gotta be another way. So Peach Wilkins actually didn't want to uh, help Fontaine anymore. He was trying to get rid of Fontaine. For some reason, he thinks we're working with Fontaine, so... There's that. I need to do that. I'm gonna save, though. Shit. Almost forgot to save. That could have been bad. You can't quit! Fontaine will find you! Hey, fuck Fontaine. first time we actually seen ghost one usually it's just ghost two talking and we're sitting here like what okay so i don't think there's anything under there a lot of it's just um just snow So, that's the end of uh, Neptune's Bounty, which went extremely smooth. I'm almost certain I got everything. If I didn't, I am sorry, guys. That's pretty much everything that I could remember to get. I'm going to call this a video here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you have anything to say, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And also, check the description down below to f uh, find all my social medias and go follow me on all my social medias. I use them all. I try to keep them all up to date. I try to post on all of them regularly. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, well, guys, this is going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.